Letting go. One thing is abundantly clear and obvious about the president. He has difficulty letting go of any slight, regardless of how insignificant or inconsequential it might be. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt because it seems impossible for him. While others would brush off criticism, ignoring it, the president lashes out. What most people would let slide for the president becomes a huge issue to be dealt with in the harshest terms. This creates at least two problems. One, every comment, every word, every observation has to be whitewashed so as not to cause the president's ire to erupt. It would seem that everything causes the president to remember whatever slight he might have perceived or worse opens up a whole new front, regardless of what happened, however minor a new backlash is coming. Often, it would seem to be, he would seem to be shadow boxing. He claims to be a counterpuncher, but in reality, it would seem that he is creating the issue, which then in turn gives him cause to punch back. The end result is that everyone around him is walking on eggshells. Everyone in his entourage must measure their words carefully and endlessly so as not to be caught up in the latest diatribe spewing from the mouth of the president. This brings us to the second problem. It is difficult to let things go, get things done under these circumstances. The president himself is often distracted and easily loses focus. Every little thing moves him away from the charted course, and even the charted course often is the problem because he really does not like to be managed, and he often sees his staff's attempt to keep him on task as managing him and attempting to control him. The staff also finds it difficult to gain traction on any of their tasks since they are constantly having to put out fires or explain things away that the president has said. It takes from their assigned task and prevents them from accomplishing what they are committed to do. Not only must this be frustrating, but it also must be very tiring. Anytime you have to stop doing what you feel is important to address some trivial or insignificant issue, it drains your energy and causes you to question what you're doing. It is, is it any wonder that the, that the best and brightest who join the White House are leaving? I'm not talking about those who have been caught with their proverbial hand in the cookie jar. I'm talking about those who really make things tick. Those committed civil servants who day in and day out make our government run. The very best find other, more productive engagements and what we are left with are the mediocre, mediocre at best. Mr. President, let things go. Focus on the task at hand. Let your staff help, help you with, without second guessing them at, at, or at best or ridiculing them at worst. Move on and begin governing.